Oh, me. I don't know if I did it. Mike, was this game a bit about purging some frustration as well? I don't think it's about purging anything. We're, we're trying to we're trying to put a game on the ice that gives us a chance to win every night. And so, um, you know, I've said I've said on a number of occasions here in the last little while, we felt like you know we've we've put stretches of games together where we we think we've played well, um, and we haven't got rewarded for it tonight. We did, and so. Um, it, it should be a, a one that we can build on. I hope it will be a boost of confidence for a lot of guys. Um, we'll take the two points and, and we'll get ready for the next one. What did you like about the way the team played other than the fact you guys scored a lot of goals? I, I just thought, especially, you know, in the first the first half of the game before it got opened up a little bit, I thought, you know, I thought we played a conscientious game. You know, I thought we were, we knew they were a team that plays the game with a lot of aggression. Um, and one of the challenges was going to be to beat, the, beat their aggression. We had to win the walls. Um, you know, they're really active with their D. And if we could, if we could win the walls, we'd get some opportunities, get some looks. And I, and I thought, uh, I thought our guys did a good job in that area, um, being ready for their to handle their pressure. I thought we made pretty good decisions with the puck and playing behind them when, uh, when we didn't have uh, any sort of uh, space. Uh, to create in front of them, and uh, and I thought we did a good job just with the decisions that we made with the puck between the blue lines, and I think that's such a critical area of the rink. It's such a, it's such an important aspect of our overall team game because a lot of times when you know my experience of, of coaching this this group is when we make good decisions between the blue lines with the puck, we usually control territory. And we, we don't give teams easy offense with, with transition opportunities. And that's an important aspect of winning in this league. And I thought, especially in the first half of the game, I thought we did a pretty good job. So, Coach, um, even though this is a great overall win, how important was it for Carlson and Matt and Yato to get the win? Well, did you feel good about that? For sure. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, it, it's always, it, it, it means something a little extra as a player when you come back and play your former team. It, there's always something special about it. And uh, I'm sure it felt good for those guys to come back. And you know, I know they have a lot of fond memories here in San Jose. Uh, they speak very highly of uh, of the city and the fans and the organization. And uh, but there's always a, there's always something unique and something special about as a player when you go back and play former teams. And uh, I'm sure it, I'm sure it meant a lot to those guys. That's 200 goals for Jake in his career. Only 29 years old. When you first saw him play, did you think he had a chance to become the kind of player that he has? Probably not. Uh, probably not. But I probably should have because if I'm not mistaken, I think he might have scored on the first two goal, first two shots on net. I believe so. Um, yes. You know, maybe that was a foreshadow. But you know, he's an interesting player because he, you know, his there's no aspect of his game that jumps out at you that um, you know that that wows you. You know, he does he doesn't he's not tremendously big and strong. Um, you know, he's not a blazing fast skater he doesn't have an overpowering shot I just think he has a hockey IQ that's off the charts and I think he's an ultra competitive kid and because of those two things I think he's uh, his complete package that that he has is just really makes him an elite player and he's developed into one of the elite goal scorers in the league what kind of an impact did Hinnestra have on the fourth line I thought he had a strong impact. Uh, you know, obviously they 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 chip in offensively for us, and which which is a, an important aspect I think for the overall group is when you get contributions up and down your lineup like we did today, it, it, it improves chances to win. And so, but I but it was more than that. I thought his speed was really evident. I thought he was on pucks. He made good decisions. Uh, you know, Vinny's a good player, but I thought his speed and his. Um, you know, the way he pursues pucks up the ice was really evident for that group. And I think they're a line that, that part of their identity in helping our team win is, is, is creating momentum for our team. They get a lot of D-zone starts. We put them in tough spots. Um, but when they can win, win the face off and drive the puck down the ice and create some offensive zone time, and, um, I think they're really, that goes a long way in helping our team win games. We get momentum off of it. Uh, you know, and then some of our 
some of our top six forwards go over the boards in those situations are able to carry that momentum and build on it. And I thought they did that all night long. Thanks, Coach. Thanks. Sure.